But let's look at stupidity first, because um, you look at the U.S. election of 2016, and you'd have to say, well, uh, doesn't it seem like um, there's a, you might even argue for a, an independent factor of stupidity in history. In other words, how can people be duped so easily? How is it that they're not able to make a rational calculation between two evils, but certainly distinguishable in terms of greater evil and lesser evil, I believe, and being able to make that, that uh, calculation so that you don't end up after the fact saying, well, I realize that the Republicans promised to do away with health care, but I didn't think they'd really do it. I really thought that was just uh, election year propaganda. That argues for, for being pretty dumb, right, for a kind of stupidity. Anyway, the one that I'd like to cite is an Italian economist uh, who then became an American, I guess. This is Carlo Cipolla, C-I-P-O-L-L-A. So Cipolla was, he's, he, this is from 1922 until 2000. So he's no longer with us. He was fundamentally an Italian economic historian. And the way I ran into him was the uh, economics of the Renaissance. He has uh, some little books, uh, I think probably parts of larger books that he'd written that were published in, in English. And uh, you see them in uh, in various uh, academic programs about Renaissance economy, the um, trade patterns, finance patterns of the of the Renaissance, stuff like this. Uh, his his books, um, economic history of world populations, uh, um, economic history of Europe. How about that? Renaissance uh, economics, things like this. But he's also got a theory of stupidity, which I think is actually very, very interesting. Now, let me just try to introduce this. The way that he does it is with a chart. And the chart has the x-axis, right? The x-axis is horizontal, right? Goes from left to right. And then the y-axis, right? The y points to the sky. So that's the up and down, right? The vertical axis. So then he divides, what, what do these measure? The x-axis is, do you damage yourself? That's over on the left. That's the minus x is if you do damage to yourself. And on the positive side, over to the right on the x-axis is if you benefit yourself, okay? Yourself. So the calculation, what's in it for me, is measured along the x-axis. But the y-axis, the one that's vertical, right, up and down, that's, if it's up, that means it benefits others, benefits society, benefits the collectivity. That's the up part, right, the plus. And then the minus numbers on the y-axis are, does it damage others? Does it cause harm to others? So then he's got this divided into four quadrants. All right. At the center, where these axes meet, you get close to, and of course, the, the idea is you're going to distribute people, that what you're going to do is populate these four quadrants with individuals, right, human individuals, and, and measure them somehow. In the middle, suppose we get to the zero, zero point where they meet. Zero, zero means... You don't have much effect on yourself, and you don't have much effect on anybody. So it means you're ineffectual. You're basically, you're not a factor. You don't get anything done. You're impotent. <clears throat> so that's the center part, right? That's, that's where they meet. Then let's say we look at the upper left-hand corner. So this is losses to themselves, but benefits to others. And he says those are the helpless people, they work and they get exploited by others. So they lose because they don't get the benefits of what they're doing. But since they're exploited and since they're getting ripped off, essentially, they are providing benefits to others, to others. Now, which others look across instead of looking in the upper left hand corner? And you can see this, you go to the Wikipedia 
entry, right, the Wikipedia, they show you the chart, which is something from one of his books. If you go to the lower right-hand box, here we have people that cause losses to others and cause benefits to themselves. Who are those? The bandits, the thieves, right? The stationary bandits, the roving bandits, the sociopaths, right? The people who don't care about the world, but they're out for themselves exclusively. So helpless people in the upper left, bandits in the lower right. So who's left? Let's look at those happy individuals who provide benefits to others and benefits to themselves. This is the upper right quadrant. So these are people who do good and they do well by doing good. So they are able to somehow leverage good deeds into appropriate benefits, but the, the benefits to others are, are likely to outweigh what they get themselves. So these are a net plus to society. Okay, then we have, unfortunately, the lower left-hand quadrant. Who's there? People who cause losses to themselves and losses to others. And these, according to Chipotle, are the stupid people. So, hmm. the stupid people. Now, let's just summarize, summarize again. The intelligent people in the top right contribute to society and get benefits for themselves. The helpless people contribute, but they're, they're duped, they're taken advantage of, especially by the bandits. There is a, a proviso, though, that some of the helpless people are there by choice. In other words, they're saints, right? They're selfless. They, they're giving up on the world because they think that for religious reasons or whatever, they should do it, right? They shouldn't worry about the rewards to themselves. Okay, but that's a, that's a smaller group. The bandits are self-interested and sociopathic. They don't care about society. The stupid people are counterproductive for themselves and for the society. And then in the middle, getting close to the zero, zero point on the two axes, the people that don't qualify for anything, right? that they're just uh, ineffective. I'm, I have an idea that these... For Chipotle, this is like Dante's vestibule to the inferno, right? Where he has these wretches who were never alive because they could never choose a cause. Uh, for example, when uh, Christ fought uh, Lucifer in heaven, there were some angels who sided with Christ. And then there were some angels who sided with Lucifer and became demons. And then there was the third group in the middle who were just for themselves, right? They refused to take sides. They wouldn't fight. And Dante says, those are wretches who were never alive. So they're in, not even in the inferno, but in the vestibule, right? In the kind of um, entrance to the inferno. Now, he has a couple of uh, provisos here. He's got the laws of stupidity. And I guess we should, we should bear these in mind. He says, it, it is the, the, the tendency, the universal tendency is to underestimate the number of stupid people. In other words, the, this, the, the numbers, right? The, the prevalence of stupidity is always underestimated by just about everybody. Huh? Maybe it's true. Then, uh, whether you're going to be stupid or not is, he says, it's, a, it's an independent variable. I don't know if I can go with this, but that stupidity is simply it's like a metaphysical force all its own. Uh, I don't know about this. I, I'm, what does that mean, an independent variable you know, and, metaph words, and metaphysical force? In other words, it, that some people, some people are going to be born good, some are going to be born evil. He says that may be, but whether you're born good or evil, you can still be stupid, right? And so it's it's an independent force. It's uh, it's independent of any other characteristic. Right? I see. Okay. Independent of anything else, right? Did your mother treat you well? Did you love your mother? Did your father beat you? Were you traumatized? All this stuff. Forget it, he says. It's just stupidity. In other words, there's a there's a rate of stupidity. And the more I look at this, the less I like it. But this is his uh, theory. So um, why 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 the more you look at it, the less you like it? Because I don't. I believe in free will. 
Mm. I don't believe in an independent metaphysical force that says, you know, 10% or 20% are going to be stupid. I don't believe. Yeah, yeah, I don't believe in that either. I don't believe it because I think that's that's uh, that's a product of many things, education, society, family, values, uh, income, education, all kinds.